And UNC System President Margaret Spelling say the UNC System will also be inclusive to students and faculty. She addressed the media tonight about the next steps the 17 campus system will take in the face of a legal battle between the U.S. Justice Department and themselves. CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler was in that briefing. And Amy, there's still a lot up in the air with what happens next. There certainly is, Sean. The Board of Governors met behind closed doors, spelling saying after that the purpose was to consult with attorneys and keep their chancellors updated. You have a state law and a federal law, and you don't really know which one is controlling. And that's what the UNC system is trying to figure out. For nearly three hours this evening, the Board of Governors met behind closed doors. They said they were trying to determine what to do next, what steps they would take after the Department of Justice sued them. It's part of an ongoing battle with the federal and state governments over House Bill 2. These institutions are, want to be and are and have been supportive, welcoming places for every type of individual period. While UNC says House Bill 2 hasn't changed their anti-discrimination policy, they've declined to take a position on it. The lawsuit puts the money the federal government gives UNC in jeopardy. That was over $1.4 billion last year. That goes to research and financial aid. We can't operate this place without federal funding, and, and we would not put that at risk. Spelling says during that meeting, the chancellors had the chance to express their concerns telling them that this could hurt the reputation of UNC and recruitment. Zach King is the student representative on the Board of Governors, the first LGBT member. The bathroom issue, um, while it's the most, you know, targeted issue, um, sometimes can overshadow um, some of the other GLBT-related issues relating to employment, non-discrimination, et cetera. Um, but I do feel very confident that the board is moving in the right direction. being very clear in saying that nothing has been decided, but she says they will continue to work with the Attorney General's office, trying to ensure that all of this is resolved as quickly as possible. Live in Chapel Hill tonight, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina.